LogicVane is the creator of Netline Dancer, a network change and configuration management solution that scales from the smallest business up to the largest enterprise. Netline Dancer was designed to help network engineers manage the configurations of network devices like routers, switches, firewalls, etc. It provides hardware inventory reports, configuration change histories, line-by-line -line comparison, and it does real-time change detection, all available through an intuitive web interface. Netline Dancer is for multi-vendor environments. We support more than 40 hardware vendors and 98 device drivers. If you don't see one of your devices listed, let us know we're developing a new one about every three weeks. Netline Dancer reduces network management costs and human error and increases security and uptime. So, according to the CERT Coordination Center, 95% of all network intrusions could have been avoided by keeping systems up to date with appropriate patches. With Netline Dancer, you can roll out patches and upgrades to a multitude of devices in a matter of minutes with confidence that it's being done right. Keep up with the stream of upgrades, hotfixes for all network devices to keep them secure and current. Also, rapid and reliable deployment, critical security patches, and tight change windows demand that this happens. Not everybody's doing it though. If 95% of the network intrusions could have been avoided, obviously this isn't something that's easy to do out there when you're managing tens of thousands of devices. Why is NCCM necessary? According to Enterprise Management Associates, over 60% of organizations experience unauthorized or unexplained configuration changes to their networks each year. That's a lot. That means that there are people making changes, rather they'll admit it or not, that sometimes break your network internally. NetLD helps you lock your network down. It tracks changes on your network, identifies who made them, timestamps them, and if necessary, allows you to fix anything that they did wrong in a matter of seconds. Additionally, 75% of network operation failures are caused by configuration errors, upgrade errors and data entry errors. With Netline Dancer, we can execute configuration changes in a regimented fashion correctly and quickly across your network in minutes instead of days. Additionally, we have tools that allow your less experienced team members to perform the more difficult task exactly like your senior guys would have done it. So Netline Dancer is a configuration management tool, change management tool, Drills down lets you see your hardware inventory, the minutiae detail, allows for zero touch provisioning, and routing and neighbor information. So what's that mean? Let's, let's take a look at the graphic user interface to see exactly what Netline Dancer looks like here. So as you see the graphical user interface, one of the things you're gonna to need to do initially is a discovery of all your devices. So Netline Dancer knows they exist and can manage them. So to do that, you quickly just go in and discover new devices, clicking on the discover new devices option under the inventory menu. A discover di devices dialog will open where you can add your IP addresses and the ranges to be discovered. So you can enter multiple IP addresses here and your SNMP community strings and because the checkbox above, Crawl the Network from the Specified Address, is clicked, Netline Dancer has a Discover Engine which will use peer and neighbor information from the Discover devices to further discover more devices on your network. After clicking Run, the discovery will start and the results will be displayed in real time as it finds the devices on your network. This usually happens pretty quickly, with hundreds and hundreds of devices being discovered rather quickly. Now that you've discovered them though, since Netline Dancer uses CLI-based access via SSH or Telnet to capture the configuration of the devices on your network, you'll need to supply the login credentials of your devices. This is very easy to do in Netline Dancer. Selecting the credentials menu item under the inventory menu will open the credentials management dialog box. Here you can specify the usernames and passwords required to connect to your devices. There are many ways to associate credentials with devices too, from static lists to subnets and wildcards. 
Once you've added necessary passcodes, you can add multiple instances of passwords here. It'll apply them against all the network groups that you had earlier found. Once credentials have been configured, Netline Dancer is ready to take a snapshot of the configuration of your network. From the device menu setting, selecting backup will initiate configuration capture from selected devices or from all the devices in your network. You just highlight the devices that you want and click backup. Similar to the discovery job output, the real-time results will be displayed as Netline Dancer captures device configurations. You can see here on the bottom left, a status summary. It'll show you under the icons if this is a new device that's been added successfully, if you're seeing it again today without changes, or in the case of failures or invalid credentials, it'll let you know that as well. Double clicking on a device after the backup is completed opens up the device detail view. On the left hand side, you can see the configuration files captured from the device. On the right hand side, you can see the image of the device from our device image database and information such as make, model, software version, serial number, and memory. Above the image on the right, you can see a set of tabs. These contain other useful information captured from the device during the backup process. Let's take a look at these. The hardware tab contains details about chassis, cards, daughter cards, GBICs, and SFPs, power supplies, and in some devices, for fan trays and controllers. The Interfaces tab contains details about interfaces present on the device, both physical and virtual. And finally, the ARP Mac VLAN tab contains, you guessed it, information about ARP tables, Mac tables, and VLAN member ports. Keeping track of configuration changes and change history is one of the essential features of any NCCM product. Along with configuration history, configuration comparisons is a valuable tool, especially when troubleshooting network issues that may have been caused by configuration errors. So double-clicking on a device in the inventory and opening the device detail view, we can see that between March 12th and 13th, a configuration change was made to this device. We can select both configurations with the control click and then click the comparison button in the toolbar above the history view. This will bring up a comparison view that splits the older configuration on the left and the more recent configuration on the right. The green line on the right indicates configuration that was added in the more recent version of the configuration. As can be seen from the key at the bottom right, the view provides coloring for added, removed, and modified code. While not displayed in this example, the view provides highlighting down to the subline level, indicating, for example, that an IP address in an existing line of configuration was changed. Often configuration files are quite long, so scrolling through them to find changes can be cumbersome, but on the far right hand border of Netline Dancer, we provide an overview of changes in the configuration file by adding clickable markers that jump directly to the changed portion of the configuration. Let's take a look at restoring. One of the benefits of having a complete configuration history is the ability to restore or roll back to a previous configuration. You can see here that we've selected the previous configuration for this device. By clicking on the restore button, we can quickly go back to the previous restored configuration. Here we see the restore operation against a Cisco device, which includes support for creating an on-device archive before rollback. Snapshot were supported by the vendor. Netline Dancer knows the unique syntax and capabilities of each device and leverages those to provide rollback operations. Moving on to compliance, Netline Dancer includes out-of-the-box compliance rules as well as the capability of defining your own rules and policies to enforce your organization's best practices. Compliance is configured through the Compliance tab among the top row of navigation tabs. Configuring compliance generally starts on the Rule Set tab, where you can begin to create rules that encapsulate your best practices. 
These rules will later be used by the policy window so that you can have multiple rules that go to comprise and make up one policy. Clicking on the Create button brings up the rule set creation dialog. Here we can see creating a rule to ensure that SNMP write access is not enabled on our devices. So you can see that we have selected that this rule will apply specifically to Cisco IOS devices. And that it will be applied against running config of those devices. Clicking OK leads to the rule editor. This is where expressions somewhat akin to firewall rules are added to check the configuration. Clicking on the plus button creates a new match expression. You can see that we've entered a line of text that we want to match and that we are setting the action to violation on match. This is saying this line of text is found in the running config of a Cisco IOS device will consider that a violation. One small point to note here, you can see on the text in the match expression, the text says SNMP server community, and then tilde string tilde followed by RW. Adding tildes around a piece of text creates a variable of the same name. Any text can become variable, and you can use whatever is meaningful to you or in the context of the expression. The variable portion of the match expression by default matches anything as can be seen by the asterisk in the restriction column. Without diving too deep here, we'll just note that the type of variable can be changed from text to things like hostname or IP address, and the value itself can be checked against CIDR range expressions, regular expressions, and things like that. Finally, clicking the red save icon will save the rule set. Now, going to the policy tab and clicking on the create button will create a new compliance policy. Clicking the plus icon will allow you to select a rule set to be added to this policy. We'll skip it here for brevity, but on the devices tab, it'll allow you to use advanced search query to pinpoint specific sets of devices that you want this policy to apply to. And again, clicking on the red save icon will save the policy edits. Back in the main policy view, Selecting a policy that you had created and clicking the Enable button will turn on enforcement of that policy. Configurations will be checked immediately upon enablement and more importantly will be checked in real time whenever a device configuration change is detected by Netline Dancer. In addition to the compliance view, devices will reflect the compliance violations with these red badge markers next to the device this is violating a policy. Double-clicking a marker will open the configuration and highlight the portion that's in violation and indicate which policy and rule sets being violated. That's a quick overview of compliance, but for more details, we have deep dive videos and we'd be happy to get on with a full demo, live demo to show you examples of compliance policies or any other aspects of Netline Dancer. Let's take a look at Command Runner. So one of the tasks frequently needed by engineers for both troubleshooting and configuration change is the execution of the same commands across a number of devices. Normally, this would require logging into a device, possibly entering enable mode and executing the de desired command, followed then by repeating the same procedure on a number of devices. And you know that this can lead to problems when you're trying to remember, have I already done this router? Where did I leave off? And did you already enter it someplace? In Netline Dancer, the engineer can select a number of devices. And by navigating the change menu and selecting the command runner option, you can run a series of commands against the selected devices. For example, show IP cache flow. We're all familiar with that. And with a single click in just a few seconds, we'll be viewing the output from each device. Of course, the commands are not limited to show commands and could easily be a series of change commands that are applied across devices in seconds. Another feature that you're going to wonder how you ever lived without 
once you start using Netline Dancer is our terminal proxy. So we've entered the IP address, the authorization necessary to log into that device, and because we've developed the device drivers, we speak that device's language. We know what series of lines are going to need to be entered to log into that device. But in Netline Dancer, by right clicking on a device and choosing Open Terminal from the pop up menu, you can jump immediately into the device's CLI. Because you've already configured Netline Dancer with device credentials, Netline Dancer performs an automated login and drops you right into the CLI ready to code. It can launch PuTTY, TerraTerm, or Native Mac Shell, and other third party terminals. The neat trick is that you're actually proxying through Netline Dancer, which means that the entire session is being automatically logged and indexed for searching. Clicking on the Terminal Proxy tab, you can view a history of all sessions, including destination, device user, client IP address, start and end timestamps. Double clicking on a session entry opens a complete capture of what occurred during the session, including commands executed and device responses. All logs are searchable by a variety of query parameters, including full text searches and are exportable. We have a lot of tools and a lot of features in Netline Dancer. And we'd be happy to schedule a live demo with you. Just go to, to logicbane.com and you can download a free trial or request an online demo. And we'll walk you through a deep dive on any and all aspects of the product.